guys today. Happy Twilight Tuesday. Y'all, we are here for the, oh my voice. Y'all, we're here for the official teaser trailer number two for the movie Moonfall starring Holly Berry, which is fave, uh, Patrick Wilson, and Roland Emmerich. Anyway, let's check it on out, shall we? In about a three, two, Shit, y'all. Oh, shit. July 20th, 1969. All the way back then? Damn. The school you were taught that Apollo 11 lost contact with the world for two minutes. Oh, Uh, they found something on that day that they kept hidden for 50 years. They always got some shit hidden, to be honest. And now, it's too late to stop. Oh, really? The fuck is that? In breaking news, the governor has just ordered the mass evacuation she of looks the so entire pretty. west coast. Moving to higher ground is the only oh, hell no. To oh, hell no. Oh, Stay hell away. to the motherfucking no, no. Stay away. Humanity will fail. Ah, uh ah. -uh. The dark side of the moon. This planet has suffered five extinctions. This is going to be the sixth. I thought it's going to be lucky number six, huh? Are we dead? No, we are just inside the moon. That might be the greatest sentence anyone's ever said. <laughs> oh, wow. This looks good. I'm interested. Ooh, February 4th, 2022. I will definitely experience this in IMAX. Yo, yo. This looks good. So let's read it real quick. All right. In Moonfall 2022, a mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around Earth and sends it hurtling onto a collision course with life as we know it, okay? With mere weeks before impact and the world on the brink of annihilation, NASA executive and former astronaut Joe Fowler, okay, who is played by Holly Berry, is convinced she has the key to saving us all. But only one astronaut from her past, her past, her past, Ryan Harper, aka Patrick Wilson, uh, and a conspiracy theorist, Casey Hausman, believe her. These unlikely heroes will mount an un I mean an impossible last ditch mission into space, leaving behind everyone they love, only to find out that our moon is not what we think it is. Y'all, the kicker is the director, I believe, made 2012. Damn, because other two movies. Uh, the Day After and something else. Some other, like, world-ending movie. And I'm like, what are they trying to tell us, y'all? Seriously, y'all, but I like the production and how it looks. It looks legit. Like, it. so basically, it gave me a whole combination of, like, The Purge, Stranger Things, with a little bit of Godzilla, and, you know, some space shit like in some end of the world shit like this looks very interesting i'm so excited about it i will definitely be experiencing it in imax february 4 2022 y'all i'm a little bit nervous though because i mean it just says in the year 2022 this shit gone anyway i'm also excited that holly berry is coming back to our um, movie screens and everything her movie uh bruise comes out this month um on november 24th okay she's gonna be whooping bitches asses and i'm excited about it um for those of you all who don't know already and for those of y'all who do know shout out to you holly berry has been one of my favorite actresses since i was a kid bruh like for real for real for real so i'm glad she's back she looks great as always um yeah and you know your boy patrick wilson aka ed okay ed warren from the conjuring hello all right and uh yeah i'm excited so with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below with your thoughts all right what's one of your favorite um disaster movies or like end of the world movies. For me, it's been so many shit, it's hard, it's hard to say. Um, 
What was that movie called? Geostorm, that was good. Um, um, yeah, Geostorm. 2012 was good, because I know damn well it had me paranoid as hell when we were watching it in school, because I'm like, yo, it is 2012, and like, if December 12th hit, and we start hearing some shaking and shit, you already know, it's a wrap, bruh. It's a wrap. Guys, speaking of this type of talk, I want to get into some conspiracy videos because you know, like he was saying, you know, about hidden shit, you know, on the moon and everywhere else. Hell, probably in the White House right now, as we know. Like, this is nothing new though. Like, you know, when it comes to shit like this, there's a lot of shit that we don't know. You know, this whole talk about aliens and UFOs and shit. We just, you just never really, really know. You know what I mean? Like, you can just speculate, you can come up with conspiracy theories all your life and everything. Not saying that a lot of conspiracy theories aren't true. But, you know, some things are just like you'll never know. And I think sometimes it's just better not to know. You know, some things are better left unseen and unheard because some shit you just can't come back from. Like, say, for instance, I don't know, maybe like 10 years, hopefully we make it, you know, due to climate change, global warming, whatever you want to call it, whatever tickles your fancy. You know, aliens decide to come down to Earth, you know, and do some shit. Like, look, I come in peace. Please don't vaporize my ass. Get the people in the White House. <laughs> I'm just saying. Get into some conspiracy videos, shall we? Um, eventually. So you guys uh, leave me some good conspiracy videos in the comment section below. And with that being said, once again, hit the like button, comment below your thoughts, okay? One of your favorite end of the world, aka disaster, aka apocalyptic type of movies um, in the comment section. And like I said, leave me some good conspiracy videos as well. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, boop, hit that notification bell so you guys know when you upload it. I'll see you guys in a minute. Stay in the rain. I'm out.